Hey everyone, uh, just wanted to get on here, um, say a few things, and uh, you know, we're living in the last days. Um, a lot of people don't want to believe that. A lot of people say, I've heard it all my life, and they just don't want to take uh, notice of everything that's happening. The Bible warned us that these days would come where a, uh, a man will fuse to hear the Word of God. Uh, refuse to hear the truth, um, uh, be blinded. Um, uh, you know, the Bible tells us that uh, this day would come. And today we're seeing it. Um, people don't want to hear the gospel. They don't want to hear the true word of God. And uh, preachers today are not preaching the true word of God. They're not preaching on hell anymore. They're not even preaching on sin anymore. Uh, people don't know what sin is unless you tell them that it's a, you know, what a sin is. That's what preachers are supposed to be doing. Uh, we are called to preach the gospel, to preach the truth. And, and we're not seeing that today. We're seeing sugar-coated preachers. We're, we're preachers who don't want to step on people's toes every once in a while. But I thank God that I had a preacher who was old-fashioned that told me that if I didn't straighten my act up and I didn't find my Savior. But, you know, the thing is, I didn't find Jesus. Jesus found me when I was broken, when I was down. Whenever I had no hope, nowhere to go, Jesus is the one that found me at my lowest point. And I thank God today that he called upon me. He saved me. And I know what I'm saved from. A lot of people don't even know what they're saved from. They say, I'm saved, but yet you, their life don't show if you've been saved. If you've been saved, you've been changed. Uh, there's a new you. Um, if your attitude's the same as it was when you got saved, then you might need to go and get that heart re rechecked because I'm telling you right now, God ripped out the old stony heart that I had and put in a loving heart, a uh, kind heart. Uh, you know, I'm, some people say I'm too nice because I let people walk all over me, stomp all over me. But, you know, that's the way I was raised. And uh, it took Jesus to change me, though, because I used to have the same attitude as you see a lot of people today. They're too, they got a wrong attitude about things. We, we're supposed to be, we're not supposed to be like other Christians. Uh, Christ, uh, what Christian stands for is Christ, little Christ. We're supposed to be Christ-like. We're not to be like other Christians. We're supposed to be like Jesus. You know, when Jesus said to pick up the cross and to follow him, he meant to pick up the cross and to follow him, not to pick up the cross and follow your friends, uh, you know. But the thing is, today we're, we're seeing the things, you know, the blood moons, uh, you, you know, everything, everything that the Bible talks about in Revelation, and things is taking place in our very eyes. America, it is time to wake up. We're focused on Donald Trump. We're focused on Clinton. We're, who cares who the president is? Uh, we have no hope in, in man or woman. We have hope in God. God is one, the only one who can. God's the only one who can ever change them. What America, America? Not no, it ain't a man place. A, a man can't change anything. It's only going to get worse. America. It's only going to get worse until the time that we hear the trumpet sound and, and we hear a loud voice say awake and the graves start opening up and we see uh, Jesus coming from the clouds. That is when everything's going to change. And if you've been born again, you've been saved and washed and cleansed in the blood of the Lamb, then heaven's going to be your home today. But if you haven't been saved, I'm going to tell you tonight, this morning, whatever it is, hey, you're going to be, hell will be your home. You say, Pastor, I don't like the way you're preaching. I'm telling you because I preach the true gospel. I don't sugarcoat the truth. The God's word is not to be sugarcoated. It ain't my, hey, don't take it up with me. Take it up with the man upstairs. I'm just a messenger boy today. But I'm going to tell you it's time to clean our act up, clean our homes up, and give our life back to the Lord, and then everything will fall into place. You say, well, I'm not getting blessed. I'm not this. I ain't that. Are you doing everything for the Lord? Amen. Are you living your life for Jesus? You see, God's a jealous God, and if you ain't if you ain't putting God first, He's jealous. You just put God first in our lives, and everything else is going to fall into place. Amen. Now, it's time to get back, America. It's time to wake up. It's time to take the blindfolds off. It's time to take out the the uh, earmuffs, and where we can hear the gospel, we can see with 2020 vision, and I'm talking spiritual vision. Get filled with the Holy Ghost. 
and where you can see what God is showing us in every day. He said there will be signs and wonders and all of these things was going to take place. Well, if you're blindfolded, you're not going to see what God's trying to show us. America, God is showing us that time is running near and it is time for us to get our families right with the Lord. It's time to get America right with the Lord. It's our place. You say, well, I'm not a preacher. You don't have to be called. Uh, you don't have to be a preacher to tell someone that Jesus died and Jesus rose again on the third day and that he's coming back and that he loves you. And John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son for whosoever call upon his name shall not perish but have everlasting life. And John 3, 17, for God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world, but through him the world may be saved. America, let's start telling people about Jesus. Let's get our facts straight. Let's get our life straightened up and live for God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's clean it up. Let's give our lives back to the Lord. God bless you. I love you. Pastor Donald Dixon. Preacher Donald Dixon. I'm not pastoring a church right this second, but I want to tell you, that doesn't stop me from preaching the gospel. That doesn't stop me from telling people that Jesus loves them today. God bless you, and I love you. But most importantly, God loves you.